All right, welcome everybody back to the Break Brothers. It's been about a week and a half since you've seen us. Uh, been on the road, and also we've been back at it trying to get those mystery boxes, actually the repack hobby boxes, completed and over the finish line. They've been kind of a journey. Uh, our first kind of foray into, uh, we had obviously all those series of mystery boxes last year, which did really well, so we just decided to transition those to a proper product, which is our repack boxes. And we got custom boxes and you know shrink wrap, the whole nine yards. Uh, they're ordered, they're done, they're in route to us. So uh, these uh, repack boxes, these hobby boxes are right around the corner, guys. Please keep an eye on our stuff, our website, our eBay, and so forth. Uh, you'll be able to track these down. Uh, we had great response to all the series, and we expect these repack boxes to be even better. So really do keep an eye on that for the details about them. But tonight, what we have for you is a two-blaster break. Uh, this is a product that just came out, I'm going to say about a week or two ago, and we had planned on doing this sooner, but again, we were off this last week, and, and uh, it just made it difficult. So we pushed it to this week here. We do have a break uh, Saturday, uh, and that is a mixer, a baseball mixer with some hard-to-find products. This is in it. It's not a hard-to-find product, but we do have some unusual stuff in there, and it's covering three years. It's not just the 2021 stuff that's in there. 2020 stuff that's in there too but 2019's in there as well and obviously as you guys know for fernando tatis jr vladdy jr uh pete alonzo eli jimenez they all had their rookie year in 2019 you can get i think we have three autos will be pulled from that year so and that's via the tops archive snapshot uh, product it was an online exclusive we have three boxes of 2019 in there of it We've got a box of 2020 of it in there as well and for 2020 we also have the uh uk version of tops update baseball it's basically the same product a little a couple different photos same u.s players they have a union jack in the corner and uh yeah, they're pretty interesting cards they're pretty good and uh we'll be opening a box of those a box of uh proper hobby box of these and some don Russ, which has three autos or relics in there as well so and that's a 2021 so you're going to have all those years covered 2020 you can get your luis roberts your jordan alvarez is your aquinos guys like that uh the Luxes, that whole crew and obviously this year you've got your joe adels your cabron hayes cabron hayes hit a 410 home uh foot home run this uh today on his first at bat in the first inning so again collect these guys now while you can i digress we are here we are the break brothers i am scott jeff is here as well as usual and we are opening up two boxes of the 2021 heritage baseball product love this stuff it always harkens back with a nod to some past designs and this is no different these are going to be the 1972 design a personal favorite of myself and jeff and uh, we look forward to breaking some of these. We've cracked open a couple of blasters already of these, um, and they were actually pretty good. We didn't get a whole lot. You know, we just uh, wanted to kind of check it out before we brought these before you guys. And again, just being kind of a review as well, I'll show you what it looks like here. 2021 Heritage Baseball. These were found at a Walmart, and just luckily right after the guy dropped stuff off, they had some Series 1 blasters, they had these, and I went back the next day, and everything that we didn't grab was gone and we grabbed four boxes uh two for this uh break and review here and two uh, on the side for us just to kind of take a look at uh you also find on top of uh oh let me get down to this seven packs plus one extra pack uh total of eight packs nothing you know it's not like there's an eighth pack that's marked or looks any different or has parallels in it We've got nine cards per pack 72 cards total and look for the uh on top of the chance of a hit it's kind of it's kind of a long shot as we've seen so far, at least in uh, the breaks that we've seen for the blasters and what we've encountered. But there's these 72 uh, Topps candy lids. They're just like a smaller portrait of a, um, a player with kind of a little notch on the top. It almost looks like a smaller version of the holiday ornament, to be honest with you. So let's get started on these. Eight packs. This is what they're looking like. And let's see the odds here, if you can make these out and oh uh, yeah let's not even do that it, it just says long shot everything all right if you guys aren't familiar with the 72 design we'll show you here in, in one or two before we start moving through we'll just give you a kind of what they in general look like and that is pretty true to the original design it's that kind of 70s uh 3d font that you'll see in a lot of stuff not just these a lot of advertising from that time 
Uh, you've got some piping in that. It's it's a pretty sharp design. It actually isn't too bad. There isn't anything like it lately, which makes it kind of fresh again. Uh, and it, it looks like, for the most part, um, team colors are involved, perhaps, in the... Well, Dodgers, not so much. All right. So I thought maybe the team colors had some say in what these border colors were. Ignore that. All right, here we go. Jacob deGrom from the Mets. Justin Smoke, now with the Giants. Anthony Rizzo for the Cubbies. And a lot of these pictures you'll see are spring training facilities. Um, you would think it's from this year, but they look actually like they're from last year because there's still guys that have been traded in the offseason that are in their old uniforms. So I okay. got Julio Urias for the Dodgers. Jose Barrios, and this is one of the things they did have in the 1972 design, is he's in the action card. So you get kind of an alternate pose. Um, and in this case, a puzzle piece, which they used to do a lot in some of the older sets. is kind of another reason to collect these. Uh, we got Zach Davies from the Padres. Denelson Lamet. Denelson, uh, Denelson, I'm guessing Lamet there for the Padres. Again, um, that's a kind of unusual shot. I'm not sure where that was taken, but again, spring training. And this is what the league leaders card looks like. So you'll see rookie stars. You'll see league leaders of his home runs. They might have uh, the top three guys that were home run hitters. But this design, again, it's something that it's not completely fresh. It's been done before, obviously. But it's not something that's been done lately. So it's kind of a nice departure. And there you go for rookie stars for the 2021. Uh, those are all pitchers, which is unusual. I, I would think Madrigal would be in that list otherwise. But And we have Kyle Seeger for the Mariners. And surprisingly, I was looking at some stats from him. He's moved up the Mariners' all-time list pretty quickly. He's like fourth in home runs, about the same in RBIs. And obviously, they've had a lot of good guys go through. The A-Rods, the uh, uh, Edgar Martinez, the Griffies, even, um, uh, what was going to say, uh, Buner, thank you. Bones there. He, uh, he put up a ton of home runs, a 40 home run guy. Robbie Ray, currently on the DL or IL, I guess as they're calling it these days. Kyle Tucker, great upcoming star for the Astros. Spencer Turnbull for the Tigers. Renato Nunez for the Orioles. Orioles got the talent. A couple years should start coming through. Here's an interesting one. These cards here, uh, boyhood photos of the star. So there's this Nico Horner, and they're including an old photo, and they make it black or white, whether it's it was or not. And that's inset in there. So you can see kind of all these guys as kids as well. Uh, we've got Trey Turner, and that is for the Nats. Gene Segura for the Phillies, and here we go, home run leaders. Let's see if we can get this. Let's get this more in focus. Sorry for, about that, guys. Let's get this changed. And focus. There we go. That's a bit better. All right, there we go, guys. And kind of get a little bit better looking. That's the 2020 NL home run leaders. And usually there's only three, but I believe in this case it is because there's a bunch of ties. So they didn't want to leave anybody out. Normally that would be uh, relegated to about three players on those. All right, that's pack number two, guys. We're going to go through two boxes, so we'll speed it up here a little bit. Don't want to be here forever. This is, again, kind of a review of it. A.J. Puck. Good pitcher if he can stay healthy. Tall guy, too. He's like six seven or so. See if I can uh, make it out there. Yeah, six six foot seven. Intimidating on the mound. We've got Shane Bieber, James Karinchak, Starling Marte, Zach Godfrey. We've got Andrew McCutcheon in action. Cardboard Covey blast 14th career grand, grand slam. So that is a flashbacks from 1972. And they do have kind of throwback um, culture cards, if you will, of things that happened in that era. Bryce Harper for the Phillies, and Seth Lugo for the Mets. Uh, and Jeff, I think you were saying last week when we opened these up, you may not know the details, but I probably should have looked before we, we came on, but on the back, they were actually labeling, I think he's set up here in this area, uh, like short prints, things, uh, things like that. Um, in that area, you were saying? Right here? Yes. If it was short prints in that? I mean... We haven't seen one yet, so I, I can't tell you exactly what they're going to look like. No, it's Syndergaard. Stars. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, same if it's missing stars. That's a short print. Uh, Noah Syndergaard is on his way back. Uh, from my understanding, he's throwing BBs. Dallas Keuchel uh, seems to be back at it. By the way, Adrian Gonzalez is playing in the Mexican League currently. Um, I think he's around 30... 
Uh, he might be older than that. He might be around 42, actually. And he uh, is playing. He's trying to get a warm-up for the Tokyo uh, Olympics, actually. He's not planning on really trying to make it back to the uh, MLB or anything. Daniel Hudson, 2020 World Series. Game 2, Shane Bieber again. Uh, Junior Guerrero, or Junior Guerra. Uh, Luis Arreyes, really good player there for the Twins. Good young player. Liam Hendricks for the Athletics. No hits so far. Tyler Maley. Trevor May. Juan Soto. Probably the best guy we've pulled here so far. Aaron Judge. Uh, the Yankees losing to the Blue Jays a little bit earlier. 3-2 to two in extra innings. They still kept the uh, extra uh, or the extra innings rule where they start a player on second base. That's still in effect this year. Uh, Cesar Hernandez. Clayton Kershaw in action. Brandon Belt for the Giants. Another guy when he's healthy. Really good. And there's a 2021 Rookie Stars for the National League. William Contreras and Tyler Stevenson. If you guys are breaking with us on uh, Saturday, we're going to probably have a lot of random cards when we come across these. Now, obviously, there's some team-centric ones, but there's going to be ones with uh, multiple teams on it. So I imagine as we go through that hobby box, we're going to have a few of those. All right, guys, on to the next. We got Max Fried, or Freed, I should say, Freddy Galvis. Got another 2020 World Series. That's a Game 5 card. Brady Singer. That's a rookie in action. We haven't seen too many rookies yet. We noticed that when we were opening the Blasters as well. Not a ton of rookies in these. At least in the, bra the Blasters. Will Myers. German Marquez for the Rocks. We've got a Pete Alonso in action. There we go. Let's find those closer here. Paul Goldschmidt and Carson Kelly. Again, pretty cool design. A good departure from what uh, they've been slinging of late. So uh, it's, it's nice to get away from some of the kind of busier designs, I guess, if you will, and roll it back a few uh, few decades here. Ty Buttry. I've never heard of him. And not a rookie. Jason Kipnis. There's a rookie. Luis Garcia. Wilmer Flores. Taylor Williams. Great one. Roberto Clemente. Got Brett Gardner, 2021 rookie stars, Tyson Mitchell and Jimmy Lambert. Oh, there we go, Luis Robert. Nice. Finally got something of note here. That is his Gold Cup card. All right, right on. So that box is likely paid for itself. Not that that's his rookie or anything, but. Still probably worth a couple of bucks. All right. We got one more pack, guys, in box number one. And again, if you like these, if you find them interesting, we do uh, have one of these in our mixer on Saturday, available on eBay. That does have a guaranteed auto or relic, though, uh, unlike these blasters. Brandon Crawford, Jesus Lazardo, great young pitcher there. Uh, Michael Franco, Hanser Alberto, Miguel Rojas. It's a nice in-action card. Felt like two cards. We've got a 2021 rookie stars for the Yanks. Albert Breu, Miguel Yahire. Uh, I don't know how that one's pronounced. Uh, and Nick Nelson. Yajire. Couldn't tell you. Don't know. Mookie Betts for the Dodgers. Now in his Dodgers uniform for a change here. Austin Riley and Archie Bradley. All right, guys, that's box number one. Let's crack into box number two here. Again, I'm going to try to keep this moving along. I mean, that's not too bad. Um, I don't know about the hobby boxes, but so far they've been pretty stingy with the rookies. Um, hopefully this box is a little different, but I'm going to be honest with you. The two boxes we opened on the side before this were pretty similar. Not a ton of rookies. I don't know, with kind of the oversaturation saturation in the hobby again, uh, you know, with the prices up, they really... Yeah, I think they're trying to slow down. They have to. They don't want to overproduce with how popular cards are. Uh, so I think they raised prices a little bit because they're not really worth any. Well, I shouldn't say they're not worth anymore. But the uh, the hobby box is like the average price is like almost doubled on a lot of stuff. And maybe as something to try to slow down people buying it and 
so they don't have to overproduce to accommodate that. You know, just maybe there'll be less uh, demand for the, the bigger denominations. But um, anyway, uh, Ronald Cunha here. That's actually a pretty good card. Fernando Tees Jr. in action. Uh, Reese Hoskins. Bo Bichette. Okay, now this is a much better box so far. James McCann, Garrett Cole. He got not roughed up today, but I think five innings, two earned runs. Randy Dobnek for the Twins. And um, like I said, so I don't know if they're them holding back rookies is just another thing to get some scarcity because they're printing a lot of stuff. I, it's tough to figure. They Every year they seem to adjust how they, they handle rookies in that, and this year seems a little bit of a departure from the last couple of years. So I'm trying to figure out what their angle is. Miguel Cabrera. We've got Christian Pat. There's a good one there, an in-action uh, rookie card. Oh, and there's one of those tops they were talking about. So let me get a sleeve for this. For the Braves. All right, and this is the, what are they calling them? The candy lids. That's what this is right here, Nate Pearson. There's a rookie one. And uh, in relation to the size of a regular card, give you some scale. So it actually just looks like they probably <laughs> probably just cut it out of there. Um, so that's what that looks like. There's nothing too special about it. I'm not sure what the significance of it. It looks almost like a blow pop or a you know, lollipop, something like that. Uh, we found a couple of them. I, I'm not sure if they're holding any value, but that's what the, re the reference is right there for the 72 Candy Woods. All right, moving on, guys. We've got Tommy Pham. And I should say, we you actually can pull a hit in these blasters because as Jeff reminded me and he grabbed, we did. Uh, he actually pulled a relic in his. So we'll show you that later regardless of what we find here. Uh, Joey Wendell and J.D. Davis. So there actually is, and then he it was a good reminder that we actually did pull something out of those first two. Not much for rookies, but he did get a relic. All right, we've got a Pete Alonzo, Nick Ahmed, Adam Engel, and we don't see a lot of repetition. That's, that seems to be the case with Series 1 of their product. Uh, not Heritage, but the Topps Baseball. Not a lot of repetition, which is kind of nice. You don't get a bunch of the scrubs over and over. Uh, but conversely, you're not getting a bunch of rookies over and over either. Pete Alonzo, there's a childhood. Another Roberto Clemente, great one card. We've got Devin Williams, great closer there for the Brewers. And Danny Jensen. Gold Cup card there. All right. That's about to hand those off to you to sort, Jeff. Never, that. Never mind that. Worth a habit. All right, we've got Orlando Arcia, Dustin May, Tyler O'Neill, Justin Upton, Willie Mays, World Series MVP. Again, we haven't seen any of those kind of culture, you know, significant culture cards. MVP award winners. Uh, what do we've got here? Pitching leaders: Yu Darvish, Zach Davies, and Max Fried for Atlanta. Brandon Workman, Cody Bellinger, and Mookie Betts in an in-action World Series card. Again, about eight car or eight packs per box. Nine cards per pack. Zach Wheeler, Mike Talkman, Marco Gonzalez. Talkman uh, got thrown out the plate today trying to tie it up for the Yanks, or go ahead, I should say. Kenley Jansen to try to prevent it going to extra innings, if I remember correctly. Pablo Lopez. Max Kepler for the Twins. Kyle Hendricks for the Cubs. Charlie Blackman for the Rockies. And Rio Ru 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 Ruiz. Rio Ruiz. That's a tongue twister for the Orioles. All right, guys, we got three more packs here. Maybe we'll come across a little something extra. If not, we'll show you that relic that Jeff pulled uh, the other day. All right, we got a Michael Pineda. Joey Gallo. Wouldn't be surprised to see him get moved by the trade deadline this year. Uh, J.P. Crawford. They seem to be moving all their kind of uh, players of value here, and he might be the last one to fall here. He had a great spring. 
Uh, Debbie Garcia, Ian Anderson, and Christian Javier. Some great rookie pitchers there for 2021. We've got Matt Olson for the A's. As a kid, he was on the Athletics, too. How about that? Serendipitous. Bo Bichette. Mike Trout in action. The Brake Brothers are going to the Blue Jays home opener. And it's against the uh, Angels. So we're going to see Mike Trout in person for this first time here on the East Coast. Uh, at least the Brake Brothers, anyway. I uh, have not seen him live previously. So that should be good. That is, I believe, on the... 7th or 9th this month. We're going to have to check those tickets, but coming up quick. Uh, today, obviously, opening day. Wilson Contreras and the Yasmani Grandal for the White Sox. Two packs left, guys, here in this quick two-box review and break of the new 2021 Heritage Baseball. We've got Joey Bart, Dalton Varsho, and Ryan Jeffers, all rookie catchers, 2021. Rookie stars. I like these again. A little bit different spin on the uh, baseball cards that we haven't seen in a bit. Tim Anderson, Rafael Montero, Brad Keller, Alec Mills. We've got a Jesus Sanchez, rookie in action there. I believe he's Marlins. And that is a puzzle piece instead. Used to love those. Uh, flashback 72s. Mays hits uh, his fifth inning home run. New York return. Blake Trennan and Jose Altuve for the Astros. All right, guys, last pack. Last pack here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you uh, go looking, good luck. It's at Target and Walmart, but the flippers are on it. So um, hopefully you can find it and don't have to get it secondhand. We've got a AL batting leaders 2020 DJ LeMahieu, Tim Anderson, and David Fletcher. Next up, we've got uh, Heimer Candelario, I'm guessing. We've got Boyhood Photos. That's Chris Bubik, rookie card. I guess all the way around, old and new. Aaron Noah. We've got Colton Wong. Miguel Castro. Victor Robles for the Nats. Jonathan Scope. And finishing up, Mike Miner. For the A's. So nothing to note there, but we are going to show you what Jeff pulled the other day. It's kind of a neat card here. Boom. That's what one of the Heritage uh, uh, relics looks like. That is a Trevor story. Again, with a little bit of a bat relic there. Clubhouse collection. And that's what the back looks like. You've now received a Clubhouse uh, collection relic card from 2021 Heritage Baseball. So I'll give you guys at least a little bit of a taste what a relic would look like. I imagine in the case of a jersey, you're just going to be throwing a jersey in there. So not too bad, but I have, again, like any of the top series, there's a whole bunch of variations on what's around that, both bats and relics. So they, this one's the Clubhouse Collection. There's a whole bunch of other sub ones just like this. So, all right, guys, well, that is what two boxes look like. And that's 144 cards. Um... A lot of one-time pulls on those, but we did get a Devin Williams. We got the candy card of uh, Nate Pearson. Pache, I know there was an Acuna in there, and Luis Robert. There we go. Not too bad, his Gold Cup card. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us. We are the Break Brothers. If you enjoyed us, please do subscribe. And uh, let's see here. Kick it off. Uh, should appear right here. We're live. Ah, oh, and I love it when it works. Right there, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Really do appreciate it. Helps us find uh, you can find us and us find you. So hopefully we'll talk to you again. Be safe. It's Friday tomorrow. Enjoy. Have a great weekend if we don't see you. Hopefully we will. We got a break on Saturday. It's a mixer. Take a look at it on eBay. We'll really think you like it. It's got some kind of stuff to differentiate from the rest of the stuff that's going on Saturday. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.